In the last video, we have seen that the payback as exactly as exactly entered in the third period without any excess or a deficit. But there are some circumstances whereby you cannot get the exact amount you invested on a certain project. So such scenario, there is an approach at which we can tackle such questions. So that is what now we want to look into. That when you are given a question, but the total amount cannot get into the exact year. So there's a different approach you can use. So that's what we want to do into. Consider a four-year project whose initial investment is 200,000 ceilings. The project is expected to generate the following cash flows. So the cash flows are as follows. For period one is 100,000. For period two is 70,000. For period three, 60,000. And lastly, period four is 40,000. But we invested the 200,000. So now we want to check the 200,000. After how long can we recoup this amount back before the fourth period? So the payback period will be computed as follows. So solution. This is years one, two, three, four. The cash flows. 100,000 for one period one, 70,000 for period two, 60,000 for period three, and 40,000 for period four. Then we create a column of accumulated cash flow to know after how long should we recoup the amount. accumulated cash flow. The first amount for the first period, we just write the way it is. So this is 100,000. When we want to the period two, we will take the accumulated cash flow for period one, we add with the cash flow of the period two. That is 100 plus 70 will give you 170,000. But now when we are going to period three, that's where the challenge is coming from. Because if we take 170 and we add it to 60,000, that will give you 230. But the amount we invested was 200,000. So this is how we are supposed to deal with such questions. Such, in such scenario, we are supposed to take the first two years, which we have recovered the 170. So the remainder is 30,000. But how do we deal with the 30,000? So we'll come here and say that the payback period is two years plus we invested 200,000. So we write the 200,000 here minus the amount already we have recouped, which is 170 from the accumulated cash flow. Minus 170,000 over. This over does not affect the years. The year is on its own. It only affects the original cash flow minus the accumulated cash flow over the proceeding original cash flow. The proceeding, you come to the cash flow, which is original. The proceeding period is period three, which is 60,000. Don't forget that, which is 60,000. So now, 200,000 minus 170,000, we will remain with 30,000. So 30,000 over 60,000, that is the same with a half. That is the same with a half. So it is like a half plus two years. So we'll have 2.5 or two and a half years, the payback period. So our payback period, therefore, our payback period will be these two years plus they are half. This one will give you a half. So 30 divided by this will be a half. So it will be two and a half 
years. And that is the answer. That is all about. So the payback period for this project will be two and a half years. So the conclusion will be we will accept the decision or the project because it is less than the expected period. It is two years, but the given period was four years. So we will accept it because we take less time to recoup the money we invested. 